George dreamed about flying in the sky, so tonight was his lucky night. Sorry to pick you up so late, but a satellite's just crashed from space and needs to be found right away. There's the Einstein Pizza Research ship just ahead. Our mission is time sensitive, so please, no dawdling. Huh? That means we have to hurry. Oh, hey. <laughs> we must locate and retrieve this miniature weather satellite. It splashed down close by, but its exact whereabouts are unknown. You three will search the ocean floor in the sub. We're gonna ride in a sub? <laughs> George, we're going in a sub! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any questions? Uh, you, in the yellow hat. Did you request our help based on our stellar work in outer space? Actually, because I find small submarines much too, uh, uh, confining. And I don't like it when fish look at me. <laughs> Let's get moving. Atmospheric forces are impinging on the satellite's external structure, compromising its delicate circuitry even as we speak. That means water might be leaking into the satellite, and the data module will be damaged if we don't hurry. Ah, got it. We're ready. Aha! Hey, George, keep your eyes peeled for that satellite. <laughs> Whoa! Did we find the satellite already? No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. We woke up a giant sea turtle. the satellite's locating device. We're close. They're close. Yeah, close. I said that. I know. Hold on. We may have a problem. We're blocked by a coral reef. Is there any way around it? Only a tiny passage. The sub is much too big to fit through. Oh. Return to the ship. We'll have to try another approach. The satellite is within that reef. And there's no way to get to it? I don't know. We're, we're experts on space, not the sea. You in that ship. Proceed. Hmm? Ah! George? Is that you? Mr. Quint, what are you doing in these waters? Well, studying the local sea life. Hey, you're an expert on fish and stuff. Is there any way to get in there to retrieve a satellite? Not in this tub. A coral reef is a very fragile environment. Ship this size will damage it. The only way in's a tunnel about, oh, yay big. <laughs> Mr. Quint, don't move your hands. George can do it. 